So I'm going to go through and I'm going to talk about some of the components within Thunkable that I think are cool that um, that can be used in your programs that maybe you think maybe you thought that it would be difficult to include these components or these features in your actual app when really it's not that hard at all and it's as simple as just dragging and dropping certain components into your app. So I'm going to go through one at a time and the way that I've designed these is that I've already added them all into this one app and I've hidden a bunch of them so you might see a bunch of extra blocks and, and things that we'll talk about later but I'm going to be specifically talking about one at a time. So the first one I want to talk about is the text to speech where you can actually go through type something out click enter click this enter button and the app will speak back whatever it is, whatever it is that you typed so this can be used for a bunch of different things uh, the first thing that comes to my mind is being able to pull different articles from online being able to parse that information and then for that to be read back to you so instead of going through and reading your news every morning create an app where the news is read to you i think that would be pretty cool so notice what we did here um, in each of these i add a label just to show you what it is we're actually doing um, if you look over here on the left i create a column um, and i call it text to speech column which includes everything inside of here text speech column I then added, you can always look on the left and see these different components. But I added a label, okay, just telling you what we're doing. Uh, I added a text input that allows a user to type something. And then the enter button is going to uh, actually make the app say whatever it is the user typed. So if I go into the blocks here, once again, there's a lot of blocks. Don't worry about all these. I'm just going to talk about one at a time. So right now, we're just looking at the text-to-speech button. Don't worry about all this stuff down here. So when text-to-speech button is clicked, okay, you're going to drag a text-to-speech invisible component. Okay, so if I were to type in like text-to-speech, right, if I were to drag this in here, it shows up at the bottom as an invisible component. I'll drag it down. See text to speech one. So if I drag down the bottom here, you see there are my invisible components, right? And I have my text to speech one. So if I click on it. I can set a default language and go from there. But like I said, this is just, I'll go back to my text to speech section, right? Um, if I click on the text-to-speech button in text-to-speech, I'm going to call speak. And what I want it to say is whatever it is the user typed in in the input field, okay, whatever that text was. And then after it speaks, after you click the button, um, at the very end of it, it's going to clear out whatever it is that you typed, whatever the user typed in the input. It's going to clear it out so that way a user can type something else in afterwards. So this is just a simple way that you can use text to speech. I thought it's a pretty cool component that you can use. Like I said, the first thing that pops to my mind is being able to read something that you wouldn't necessarily want to read and just want to listen to, whether that be in the car or just waking up in the morning listening to the news.